Hey there guys, it's Frames Vanguard here, and welcome to this next episode of Let's Play uh, GoldenEye 007. Uh, like I said last time, uh, a failed recording means I've already played Facility, which was last episode, and uh, Runaway, sorry, Runway. Uh, so this isn't technically blind. After this it is, I haven't played Surface at all, as you can see right here. Uh, but in any case, uh, I'm kind of glad I'm redoing the recording for this one, because uh, even though the program would have fit into the, sorry, the original video would have fit into the recording software, it was only about 40 minutes or so, uh, the thing is, it kind of wasn't very good or entertaining, it was mostly just me complaining the whole time, because this is kind of a difficult level. Uh, hopefully that'll be different this time. Uh, that's in comparison to Facility, which, even though the original take was two hours long, it still has some really good stuff in there that I wish I could have salvaged, but, you know, kind of have to make do. Sorry if you heard that, I had to readjust the mic a little bit. I tried to be silent, but I, I it might have picked up. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and start with Runway. Our goal is to uh, find the plane ignition key, destroy the missile battery, and escape in the plane. Uh, this level is kind of difficult. It's actually really short if you know what to do. The problem is execution, because it is really difficult. As you can see, this runway is basically just one big room, essentially. But, uh, it can be a little difficult sometimes, starting right off the bat. Well, you're supposed to be stealthy, but... Yeah, that didn't kind of, that kind of didn't work out. So now there's a guy that's going to be alerted outside, and he's going to alert the rest of them. So not exactly the brightest move on my part. Not the smoothest execution. Is he dead? Now he's dead. Uh, hop back in here. If you take too long, enemies will start to swarm you. They're infinitely responding in this area, so don't worry about them all too much. James automatically hops up there. Grab... That's an AK. I got some grenades if you need them. And some remote control mines, which is always useful. Actually, speaking of grenades... You'll see real quick that there's a desk over here. If you throw that back there, it'll blow up and it'll kill the dudes in a massive explosion because even the desk explodes. It must be a Michael Bay film. I've actually never seen a Michael Bay film, so I'm just literally going off of word of mouth. Uh, you'll see there we got the ignition key. That's where it is, um, at least on this difficulty. It might move on other difficulties, but right here, it... But right... Right now, that's where it is. And it'll be there every time you play. It's not, like, randomized or anything. Uh, since the enemies are undoubtedly alerted to our presence now, we just kind of need to continue moving along. Not dawdle too long, because otherwise they'll start swarming us from the back. Uh... Need to shoot this guy down like that. Uh, we can destroy those. And that'll get rid of them. Most effective. Uh, I prefer. You can actually run down along either way. I prefer to sidle along. Settle? I don't know. Along this wall. It seems a bit safer to me. Uh. Alright, for some reason there's a door here, but you can't open it. It's very odd, and the reason I wanted to come over here is... Oh, gosh! I can't tell where those shots are coming from. Oh, they're coming from the side. They're coming from everywhere. Yeah, the enemies are here. This is the part you gotta look out for. Go ahead and die. You're not dead. Now you're dead. As you can see, the problem is we're running it dangerously low on ammo on the AK. So right now I'm going to run through here, pick up more ammo like that, which should be fine. Uh, the thing is, if you try to take off, there's... Oh my gosh, where did you come from? Uh, 
Ah, got him. Um. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be making it through this level. This time around, at least. Especially not if he charges me. Ooh, we can actually get a new weapon if we come over here. We got the Clob, also known as Complete Crap. Alright. Yeah, the enemies are starting to swarm me, so I'm just going to need a crap. Make a run for it. There's no way I'm making it through this. Well, that guy... Oh my gosh. No, it didn't. So, while I still have it, I should explain a little bit about the club. The club. Um. Well, that's the end of James Bond. Yep. I couldn't make it through on the first time this go around, but you know, it's worth it. And unfortunately, I can't explain about the club until next time. Yes, we died. So you gotta be even faster than me. I'll just cut ahead to where I was, unless I can stealth this part better, which I should be able to. If you can stealth a little better than I was, then uh, then you delay the swarm of enemies hurting you. That's probably why it didn't end up so well for me. I can't tell if that worked or not. We'll see in a second. Uh, got some mines. If you're careful when you open this door, there should be... Well, I killed them. Uh, if you come over here, I don't think there's anything. I don't think I stealthed too well. Trying to say that word a lot is a little hard. Uh, this is usually where most of the enemies spawn, it seems like. Uh, but right now, there's nothing over here except for uh, doom for us if we wait around any longer. And because I dilly-dallied, uh, I'm probably going to get wrecked again. But, you know, gotta be thorough. Alright, so this time around we'll be a little bit quicker. Yeah, as you can see, there's a machine gun right there. If you run too fast, things don't go too good for Bond because it'll just mow him down in a moment's notice. Uh, so what you're supposed to do is throw down some mines, it'll destroy it, and if that happens, then you're in good shape. Looks, I might not get to talk about the club today, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll get other chances to talk about it. Anyway, after you destroy that one, you'll want to run over here. Uh, shoot this guy. Shoot him down. Now grab the rest of your mines. Uh, try and aim them right. The goal is to get them on top of there. Yes, and if you destroy that missile battery, you're in good shape. Now, uh, I don't think there's any more weapons, so I'm going to go ahead and equip the ignition key. As you, Because as you can see, there's a plane right there. And we need to run on this side of it because uh, uh, there's a machine gun up on the hill, actually. And uh, what are you doing, James? There we go. Yeah, that machine gun there. If you if you're on the other side, it'll shoot you down. And as far as I know, there's no way to destroy it because if you even try to approach it, it'll kill you really quickly. Anywho, that was that mission. Uh, a lot easier when you know what you're doing. It was only about a it only took me a quarter as long as last time. Uh, like I said, I was glad I redid this. Wow, I honestly didn't get off that many shots. Uh, like I said, I. Uh, I'm kind of glad I did this, because the original take simply wasn't that entertaining. Uh, this turned out much better. Certainly less frustrating for me, and uh, it was less complaining for you, so that's probably good. Complaining usually isn't entertaining to viewers, I have learned from certain other YouTubers. I'm not going to name any names, but that's what I've learned. You see, their suffering is fun. Their, complain their complaints are not fun. Anywho, uh, next time around, we're going to be returning back to, hopefully turning back to blindness, unless it's, uh, another doozy of a mission, in which case we might have to knock it down to agent permanently. Uh, 
but when we do that, we'll be going to a surface, which, uh, they might explain it in the briefing, but if you haven't watched the movie, it's probably not going to make any sense. You should probably watch the movie for reference for this if you really care about the plot and aren't just here for the gameplay. But in any case, that'll be next time, so we can worry about it then. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.